Hey, this is Braxton, and today we're going to be looking at my 2019 YZ85. I've had this for one or two years now, and my new 2021 Husqvarna TC85. Um, I had this for like three, not even a month. So we're going to be comparing the two today. So stay tuned. A little bit about me is that I'm five foot two. I weigh 95 pounds, and I've been riding since I was three. I've been on 85s for about two years now, so it's going to be pretty fun to compare these two. This one's new, this one's older, so we actually built this bike. Um, I don't know if we were filming that back then, but we did build this one. It came in a bunch of boxes, I think, if I remember correctly, but yeah, I cannot wait to get on these two and compare them. <laughs> riding both bikes they're two very great bikes like don't think just because if I give like a bad review to one that like doesn't mean it's a good bike it's obviously still gonna be a good bike just I might have outgrown it so the Yamaha let's say its clutch feels a lot different because you have to let it out completely for it to work when here it's a lot more flowy and better for the turns and stuff because you don't have to like stretch your fingers out all the way you can kind of just have it like pulled in here and then like let go and it'll get out um, it is, when you pull in the clutch, the bike kind of like starts to slow down on this bike. This one, it starts to roll. I have put 57 hours on this bike though. So I do have a lot of time on it. Yeah, overall, like this bike 
um, almost feels like more choppy and this one feels like more flowy. But like I am five foot two and kind of outgrowing it. I would say it feels a little bit crammed for like how I sit. Like I sit on a bike, I'm like this kind of. And like this gives me my knees like a ton of space to like move around. And like I can like pinch. But then whenever you hop on the Yamaha, I can actually just show you guys real quick. Take my helmet real quick, put it down. Whenever you hop on it, it's kind of like, it's definitely lower to the ground by a couple of inches, which doesn't help my height specifically. And it's like kind of more crammed. Like I'm still trying to sit forward on the bike and like my knees are kind of just like smashing into this. But if you are just getting into the sport and you're not five foot two, this can go for, like, you, you can pick up like a used Yamaha for like $3,000. Whenever you can pick up like a use one of these for like five thousand, so it is like tough to say. But me, personally, being taller, is probably gonna be the Husqvarna. But this might have the advantage in wood racing, woods racing maybe because it's a little bit shorter. So maintenance-wise, it's a lot easier to get to the air filter on the Husky. Husky. So you can basically, without any tools, just pop out this side panel and your air filter is right in there. Well, over here on the Yamaha, you have to take out two separate bolts on the sides and like slide the seat back, which I'm guessing you have to slide the seat back anyway. But to even just get this off, you have to take off a bolt. As soon as I hopped on this bike, I felt way more confident, way more flowy. Corners did felt better. The big jump felt better. I could do the big jumps. So, yeah, stay tuned for more content on this bike here. We're going to do some hair scrambles this summer, so that's going to be really fun. I cannot wait to see how it's going to perform in these kind of races because it's just so nice. It's just a nice bike, but yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.